Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and today is fourteenth uh, November two thousand and twenty-one. The day is Sunday. Right now, I am with the uh, with the ninth Cambridge class, and the subject we are studying is uh, D Math four zero two four. We are working on the syllabus, and today we have set our hearts to solve exercise one A from the book D four. The name of the book is New Syllabus Mathematics Seventh Edition. The chapter one we are we have started working on, and uh, this is the uh, this uh, chapter is about the graphs of linear inequality in two variables. So in this chapter, in this exercise, we are going to deal uh, with the the graphs of inequality. This exercise also require prior knowledge of the coordinate geometry and the linear inequalities. So let's start uh, today's uh, work and uh, we will be working in this session. We will start from the question number two and uh, here in the question number two, you will see that the graphs are, are given and he will show us an area and we have to tell the inequalities uh, which are bounding that area. So it's very simple. I, I will I will try to explain it to you, and hopefully, you will understand it. So uh, let's start, and let me show you the first the exercise. Okay. So here we go. So uh, the exercise one A is coming up on your screen. So. Uh, and this is D4, this is exercise 1A, and we are going to start from the question number two. And uh, let me show you. As you can see, let me increase the size of this so you can see more clearly the question number two. Okay. So here we go. In each of the following cases, write down the inequalities which define the unshaded region. So on your screen, you can see the question number two, part A. So, so you can see this unshaded area is this area. You can see this area, yeah. And this is being bounded by four lines. So this is line number one. Then this is the line number two. This is the line number four. And this is the line, no, sorry. This is the line number one. This is line number two. This is the line number three. And this is the line number four. So basically there are four lines uh, which are around this white area. And we have to write down their inequalities. These lines and their equations are given. So one by one, I will show you how to write the inequalities. So uh, let's take the first equation and let's talk about this line. Do you see this line is x plus y equals to four. And you can see this white area, the required area is below this line. This is that line. So the required area is below this line. So I will remove this equal sign and I will put a inequality sign here. And you know, inequality sign in our, we say crocodile mouth. So I will put inequality sign here because the required area is below the line. So I will put here inequality and its back will be towards the Y because the required area is below this line. So I will put here inequality sign and its, 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 its back uh, will be towards the Y and the Y must be positive. So let me show you and we will look at them simultaneously. Okay, so question number two, you can see here. So I was talking about uh, uh, this equation. This is this is that line is this equation was x plus y equals to four because the area was below, below it. the white area was below this line. So in the place of equality, I will write here inequality. And because the area is below that uh, line, so I will put the crocodile here and the back of the crocodile will be towards the y. So it says x plus y is less than or equals to four. So that is the, the line number one. So let's go back and check the next line. 
Okay, so the next line is this one. You can see this is a horizontal line. This is y equals to three because this white area is below this line. The white area is below this line. The required area is below this line. So when I will write the inequality, I will write here, I will write here y is less than three, less than and equals to three because it's a continuous line. So we say y is less than or equals to three. So the crocodile's back will be towards y because the required area is below this line. So let me show you here. So you can see here. So the y equals to three is the line, queen of the line because the white area or the required area is below that line. So the crocodile's back will be towards the y. So it will be y less than and equals to three. So this is how you write this. Okay, so next line. Uh, so let's go to the next line. The next line is third line, this line. It's also, again, a horizontal line. Its equation is y equals to zero. So you can see the required area or the white area is above uh, this line, is above this line. So the, I will write here inequality y greater than or equals to zero. Uh, crocodile's mouth will be towards the positive y because you know the area is above this line. Whenever the area is above the line, the crocodile's mouth will be towards y. Okay, now let me show you from here. So here you have y equals to zero. That was the, that line, the horizontal line. The required area was above this line. That's why when I put inequality here, the mouth of the crocodile will be towards y. So y is greater than or equals to zero. Okay, now uh, see this fourth line. This is that fourth line. It's a vertical line. In the vertical lines, uh, the equation is x equals to constant. Here it is x equal to zero. And the required area is on the right side of that line. This is a vertical line, equation is x equals to zero. The required area, the white area is on the right side of this line. So when I will write here inequality, I will write that x is greater than or equal to zero. The crocodile mouth must be towards x. Okay, so whenever the required area is on the right side of the, of the vertical line, then the crocodile mouth will be towards the X. And if it is on the left side of the, of the line, the vertical line, then the crocodile's back will be towards the X. That's the rule, so remember it. I, when I will explain you the more questions, I will repeat them again and again. Hopefully you will, you will remember them. So uh, let me show you uh, on, the, on the solution. So here we go. So x is equal to zero. That's that that this is that vertical line is equation because the white area is on the right side. The required area is on the right side of this vertical line. So the mouth of the crocodile will be towards x. So x will be greater than or equal to zero. So this is how you write the inequalities, the four inequalities. These are the four lines basically, which were bounding that white or required area. And this is how you write the inequality. Hopefully you understand. So we will do the next question. And let me show you the next question coming up on your screen. So, so now we are going to question number two and it's B part. Here we go. So now the question number two B part is showing up on your screen. Here we have to, the question was, the statement of the question is, let me show you the statement of the question. It says, in each of the following cases, write down the inequalities which define the unshaded region. So here we go. The B part is coming up on your screen. So here we have the B part. Okay, now this is that white area they are talking about. This is the required area. This is that unshaded area. So you can see how many lines are uh, bound uh, as boundary of this area. This is the line number one. This is line number two. This is line number three. This is line number four. So basically there are four lines which are around this unshaded area. And uh, if you look at carefully, this line is a continuous line. This line is a continuous line. This is a dotted line. And this line is also a continuous line. So let me take, first of all, this, this equation and this line. This is an inclined line. 
3y equals to x plus 9, and the required area is below this line. When the required area is below this line, I remove this crocodile sign and I will, uh, sorry, this equal sign, and I will introduce here in inequality sign because the area is below this line. So the crocodile's back will be towards y. So it will be three y less than and equals to x plus nine. Let me show you from the, from the answer. Okay, so here you have three y equals to x plus nine. That's the coin of that line. And because the area is below this line, so when I remove this equal sign, I put here inequality sign, it will be, this crocodile's back will be towards y. The reason is that the area, the required area, the unshaded area is below this line. So you will write three y less than and equals to x plus nine. Okay, so the next line is this one, and this is a vertical line. You can see this. This is a vertical line. X equals to three is its equation, and the shade, uh, uh, the white area, the unshaded area, or the required area is on the left side of this vertical line. If the required area is on the left side of the of the vertical line, when you remove this equal sign, you put here inequality sign the crocodile's, uh, crocodile's back will be towards X because the area is on the left of this vertical line. So here I will introduce a, a crocodile inequality and its back will be towards X because the required area is on the left of this vertical line. So let me show you. Here we have that thing and you can see X equals to three. That is the equation of that vertical line. So I remove this equal sign introduced here inequality sign x is less than or equals to three and because it's a continuous line, that's why we also write equal sign here. So because the required area is on the left side of that vertical line, so that we will put a crocodile and that crocodile's back will be towards the x. So x is less than or equals to three. So remember this, uh, okay? So let's see the next line. The next line is this dotted line. Uh, this is the third line. This dotted line, you can see, this is 2y equals to x. That's the equation of this line. 2y is equals to x is the equation of this line. And you can see this white area that is above this line. You can see here, this is above this dotted line. So when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce here inequality. When I put here crocodile, the crocodile's mouth should be towards the y because the required area is above, the white area is above this line. So the crocodile's mouth will be towards the y. So let me show you from here. So here you have two y equals to x is that, that dotted line. And the required area is above this line. The white area is above this line. So the crocodile's mouth will be towards y. So two y is greater than x. Here I have not put there an equal sign. Uh, here we are saying two y is greater than x because the line is dotted. That's why I'm not putting here the equal sign. So uh, let's go to the next part here. Next part means next line. So this is that line, the fourth line, and its equation is given here, 3x plus 2y equals to 6. You see this line and this white area is above this line. So if you look at this line, so this area is above this line. This is that line. Its equation is written here. So because the required area is above this line, so the, when I will remove this inequality sign, here I will introduce, uh, when I will remove equal sign from here, I will put here an inequality sign, its mouth will be towards Y. The reason is the area is above this line. Very simple and straightforward explanation. Uh, so let me show you my answer. Okay, so here is that fourth line, three X plus two Y equals to six. That's the given equation of that line because the white area or the required area is above this line. So that's why uh, when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce here inequality. Then I will, uh, I will put crocodile here and the mouth of the crocodile will be towards the Y. The reason is the area is above this line. Hopefully you understand. So, Let's go to the next question. Okay, so that was the B part. Now on your screen, uh, a C part is coming up. So here we go. The question number two and it's C part is showing up. Again, we have here 
uh, unshaded area, white area, required area, and it's bounded by, let's see how many lines, one, two, three, and four. So basically there are four lines which are bounding that area. So let me take this, this is my first line, suppose this is my first line, it's equation is 2y equals to x plus 4. And this line is, uh, uh, you know, this area is below this line. The required area, the unshaded area, the white area, that is below this line. So when your area is, when your required area is below this line, when I write here inequality, I will write, I will put inequality in such a way that the crocodile's back will be towards y because the area is below this line. The required area, the white area is below this line. So let me show you from there. So question number two is C part, here we go. So two Y is equals to X plus four, that's the queen of that line. The required area is below that line and it's a continuous line. So you will write here when you remove this equal sign, here you will introduce inequality. You will put the inequality sign in such a way that is the crocodile's back will be towards Y. So you will have 2y uh, less than and equals to x plus 4. Hopefully you understand this, how, how I have decided this. Okay, so uh, the next line is this line. It's a vertical line. You can see this dotted line is a vertical line. And it says x equals to 4. x equals to 4. This is that vertical line. And you can see that the white area or the required area or the unshaded area that is on the, on, the, on the left side of this vertical line. So in the vertical lines, if the required area is on the left side, uh, the crocodile's back should be towards X. If the required area will be to the right of the vertical line, then the crocodile's mouth will be towards X. So here, and because the required area is on the left side of this vertical line, whose equation is x equals to four. So I will write x is less than four. So crocodile's back will be towards x. I will not say x less than and equals to. The reason is this line is a dotted line. So let me show you from here. So x equals to four is a vertical line. The white area required areas is, is on the left side. So x less than four. Crocodile's back is towards X. Okay, so uh, let's go to the next line here. You have that third line. Its equation is 4Y equals to X. And you can see that the required area or the white area is above this line. So because the white area is above this line, so uh, I will write here inequality and the mouth of the inequality will be towards Y. The mouth of the crocodile will be towards Y. Uh, 4y is greater than and equals to x because it's a continuous line. So I will say 4y is greater than or equals to x. The mouth of the crocodile will be towards y. The reason is this required area, this white area is above this line. So uh, let me show you. Here we have uh, 4y is equals to x. The required area is above this line. I think I'm right. Yeah. Okay. So 4y, uh, let me. So 4y is equals to four y is equals to x. That's the line in line line because the required area is above this line. So what will happen? Uh, the crocodile's mouth will be towards y, positive y. So 4y is greater than and equals to x. So the crocodile's mouth is towards y because the area is above this line. So, okay, so let's go. Okay, so next, next, next line, next line is this fourth line. And here you can see this line, four X plus Y is equals to four. And you can see this white area is above this line. And this is that line. This equation is four X plus Y equals to four. The white area, the required area is above this line. So uh, when I will remove this equal sign, I will put here the inequality the crocodile's mouth should be towards the Y because the area is above this line. Positive Y, the crocodile's mouth should be towards the positive Y. So let me show you. Here you have the, let me increase the size. 
Okay, so 4x plus y equals to 4, and because uh, the area, the white area, the required area, the unshaded area is above this line, so the crocodile's mouth will be, the crocodile's mouth will be towards y, positive y. So here I remove the equal sign, here I put uh, 4x plus y is greater than or equals to 4, the crocodile's mouth is towards the positive y because the required area is above this line. So hopefully you understand how this rule is working, how I am deciding the inequality. So uh, let's go to the next part. So now here we have the next part is coming up on your screen. That is the D part. And in the D part, you can see uh, we have this, this white area. This white area is being bounded by three lines. So this is the, uh, maybe this is the first line. And then this is the second line. And then this is the third line, okay? So there are basically three lines which are around this white or unshaded area or the required area. So I can very easily tell the inequalities. If you suppose, if you take this one, suppose if you take this line, this line, if I take this, oh, okay, okay, so let's take this line first. So suppose this line, this is, it's a coin is two X plus Y equals to four. And the area is below this line, this white area. You can see that this is below this line, okay? So the coin is two X plus Y equals to four. So when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce here inequality. It's back, the back, the crocodile's back should be towards the positive y because the required area is below this line. Let me show you. And that's, that's the D part. Okay, so you have, uh, that was this equation two x plus y equals to four. And so two X plus Y is equals to four. And because the two, uh, the, uh, the area was below this line. So what will happen uh, because the area is below this line. So the crocodile's back will be towards the Y because it's a continuous line. So I will write uh, this crocodile and equal sign. So it is two X plus Y less than and equals to four. The crocodile's back is towards the Y. The reason is that the required area is below this line. So that was this line. And let me move. We were talking about this line equals to four. Now let's talk about this line, this line. Uh, y is equals to x plus two. And you can see this required area, this white area is also below this line. You can see this line, can you see that? The required area is below this line. So when I will remove this equality sign, I will put here inequality. The crocodile's back should be towards the y because the required area is below this line. So I will write y is less than or equals to two x plus two. Let me show. So here you have y is equals to two x plus two, and because the uh, required area, it is that equation y is equals to two x plus two. The required area is below this line, so that's why I will write y is less than or equals to two x plus two. I have put the inequality in such a way that the back of the crocodile is towards y. The back of the crocodile is towards y. The reason is because the area is below this line. The required area is below this line. That's why the back of the crocodile is towards y. Okay, so now uh, let's check the third line. This is that third line and you can see that it's a dotted line. It's a dotted line, two y is equals to x. 2y is equals to x and it's a dotted line and you can see that this white area, this white area is above this line. The white area, the required area, the unshaded area is above this line and it's going is 2y equals to x, okay? 
So when I will remove this inequality, I will introduce here, in, uh, when I will remove this equality sign, I will introduce here inequality sign, the crocodile's mouth will be towards positive y. The reason is the area is above this line. Because it's a dotted line, so only the crocodile will be introduced here. So two y is greater than x. This is how you do it. So I'll let me show you. So, okay, so we will write that uh, here you can see two y is equals to x. It's an inclined line, it's a dotted line. The required area is above this line. So that's why when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce inequality and I will, the crocodile's mouth will be towards the y. So I will write two y greater than x. Here we have introduced inequality, crocodile's mouth is towards the y, the reason, the required area, the white area, the unshaded area is above this line. That's why the crocodile's mouth is towards y and the y must be positive. So I hope you understand that how the, I convert those equations into inequalities by looking at the shaded area, sorry, I mean the required area and uh, actually trying to understand, actually trying to uh, you, I use this, con this concept that if the area is above the line or below the line. And for the vertical lines, I check that if the area is on the left side of the vertical line or it is on the right side of the vertical line. So hopefully you understand this. Okay, so that was question number two and it's D part. So let's, let me show you that then we have the question number three. We are doing the exercise 1A of the D4 and here we go, the question number three. Now we are coming up with the question number three on your screen. Okay, so we have question number three. He says in each of the following cases, write down the inequality which defines the unshaded region. Okay, so again, we have to do the same thing, but here we have a problem. The problem is that the so this is question number three, and it's uh, this is question number three, and it's uh, a part, and we have to write the inequality. But the there is a little; it went a little higher. The difficulty of the question has gone little higher because you know the equations of these lines are not given. So we have to use our, the concepts which we have learned in the coordinate geometry. And we will uh, find the equations of these lines first, and then we will write the inequalities. So this is question number three, A part. So here we have that white portion. This is that white portion. And around this white portion, the required area, the unshaded area around this, we have four lines. And you can see, this is, suppose this is the first line. Suppose this is the second line. Suppose this is the third line. And then this is the fourth line. So basically there are four lines, the line number one, the line number two, and then we have this line, that's the third line, and this is the fourth line, which is around this white area. So first of all, I will find the equation of each line, and then I will, I will also do the, I will also write the inequality. So let me take this first line, I'm calling it the line number one, I will take two points on it. This point is on that line and its coordinates are 0, 0,5. And I will take this point on that line, its coordinates are 5, 0. So by using these two points, I will try to find out the equation of this line. So let me call this line number one. Okay, so here we go. So line number one, you, you can you, you remember that uh, the white area is below this line. I'm calling it line number one. I have taken two points on this line. One point is 0, 0,5, the other point is 5, 0,0. Then I will find, I, and because I'm trying to find out the equation of this line. So first of all, I will find out the mass and uh, the, the gradient of this line. You know, the gradient formula. The formula for the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. It will be zero minus five divided by five minus zero. It will be minus five by five, and that will be minus one. So now, now I know the gradient of this line. 
I can find the coin of this line. The formula of finding the coin is y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1. And uh, um, because uh, I will use this point, this is y1, this is x1, and this is the m. So I will substitute the value of the x1, y1, and m in this equation. So you will have y minus five equals to minus one in bracket x minus zero bracket close. So we will have y minus five equals to minus x. So I can take this x to this side. I can take this five to this side. So you will have y plus x is equals to five because the required area is below the line number one. So that's why I will put here inequality and the crocodile's back will be towards the positive y. So here you can see y plus x is less than and equals to five. Here I have put the crocodile inequality and its back is towards the positive y. The reason is that the white area is below this line number one. Then we have the line number two. Let me show from the question, the line number two. So this is that line number two. You can see it's a horizontal line and it's passing through y, y equals to four. So that will be the equation of this line, y equals to four, and you can see the white area is below this, this horizontal line. The white area is below this horizontal line. So, so I will show. So the line number two is the equation is y equals to four, and because the required area is below this line, so we will write here y is less than and equals to four. And the crocodile's back is towards the positive y. The reason is the area is below this line. So that's why we wrote here y is less than and equals to four. So this was, that was line number two. Okay, so let's move to the uh, next line. And there are four lines basically now. So this is that third line and you can see the white area is above this line. So I'm talking about this line, that's the third line. I'm, I'm just calling it third line, okay? So the area, the white area, the unshaded area, the required area is above this line. So I can take two points on this line and I will find the equation of this line. One point will be this zero comma zero and one point will be this, which is two comma one. So with the help of these two points, I can easily find out the gradient of this line. So let's do this zero comma zero. And this is, uh, the line number three, I have taken two points and zero comma zero and two comma one. I will find the gradient. The formula for the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So it will be one minus zero divided by two minus zero. It will be one by two. So the gradient of this line is one by two. Then the equation of this line formula is y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1 bracket close. So x1, y1 will be this first point and the m is this gradient. Just substitute those values here. So y minus zero equals to one by two into x minus zero. Bring this two to this side. So it will be two y equals to x. So that's the point of that line number three. And because the area is above this line, so we will um, remove this equal sign. I'll put here inequality sign. Uh, I will put the inequality sign in such a way that the crocodile's mouth will be towards the Y because the required area is above this line. So you can see here two Y is greater than or equals to X. So this is how you write the inequality for the line number three there. Okay, so let me show you the fourth line there. The fourth line is this line. It's a vertical line. The fourth line is a vertical line. You can see that. The fourth line is a vertical line. So its equation is uh, uh, x equals to zero. And you know, because it's uh, the white area, the required area, the unshaded area, that is on the right side of this vertical line. So when I will write the inequality, the crocodile's mouth will be towards the uh, X because the required area or the unshaded area is towards the on, the, on the right side of this vertical line. So the crocodile's mouth will be towards the X. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Okay, 
So you can see the line number four is the coin is x equals to zero. And because the white area, the required area, the, the unshaded area is on the right side of this vertical line. So when I will remove the equal sign, I will introduce inequality and the mouth of the crocodile will be towards the X because the area is on the right side of this vertical line. So X is greater than or equal to zero. So this is how you write the all the four inequalities. You can see the, this is the line number one, line number two, their inequalities I have encircled. I have put a, a, a rectangle around them and the third line and the fourth line. So hopefully you understand. You see in this question, um, the knowledge of inequalities, the knowledge of how to introduce crocodile's mouth and uh, inequality, I mean, and, uh, and it also requires the skill, uh, uh, or control over the coordinate geometry. So uh, let's do the next one. So the next part coming up on your screen is the question number three and it's B part. Question number three and it's B part. So uh, here we have that white area. That's the unshaded area, which is the required area. And it's bounded by, uh, you can see this line, that's the line number one. This line, that's the line number two. Then this line, that's the line number three. And then this line, that's the line number four. So I will step by step, I will find the coin of each line and I will write the inequality of for each line, okay. So let me take uh, uh, this line as the first line. This is, let me call it line number one. And you can see, I can take two points on this line. One is zero comma four, and the other one is four comma zero. I will take these two points and I will find the gradient and I will find the coin of this line. And then I will put the inequality there. The white area, the required area, you can see from here is below this line number one. So let me show you. Okay. So uh, for, the, for that line number one, I have taken two points from that line number one, uh, 0, 0,4 and 4, 0. First of all, I will find the gradient. The formula for the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So it will be zero minus four divided by four minus zero. It will be minus four by four and that will be minus one. So the gradient of this line is minus one. Then uh, I will find, I will try to find out the coin of this line. And you can see that the coin of this line is Y minus Y one equals to M bracket X minus X one. That's, that's how you find the coin. So I will take one first point, this one, Y one is four, X one is zero and the M is minus one, I will substitute the value of the X1, Y1, and M in this. And you can see here Y minus four is equals to minus one bracket X minus zero. So it will be Y minus four equals to minus X. So Y plus X is equals to four. So because the required area is below this line, the white area is below this line number one. So when I will remove this, equal sign, I will introduce inequality here. The crocodile's back will be towards the Y because the area is below this line. The white area, the required area, the unshaded area is below this line because the required area is below this line. That's why when I introduce a crocodile here, its back will be towards the positive Y. So Y plus X is less than equals to four. So that was the line number one. So let's go and check the line number. So that was the line number one, this one. Then we have this line. This line is line number two and it's a horizontal line. And it's passing through y equals to two. So the coin of this horizontal line will be y equals to two. Because the required area here, you can see the required area is below this white line. The required area is below this white line. 
so you know the white area is below this white line so the uh, the crocodile's back will be towards the white so i will write here uh, you know line number 2 i will write here so line number 2 uh, uh, y equals to 2 is the queen of the line because the required area or the white area or the unshaded area the required area is below this line so i will introduce here in the place of equal i will introduce here inequality and the crocodile of that inequality uh, the back of the crocodile will be towards the y because the area is below this line so y is less than equals to 2 so this is line number 2 So, so so we are done with this line number 1 line number 2 now this is that third line this is the third line and i can take two points on this third line and this point which is 0 comma 0 and i can take this point which is 4 comma 1 and you can see from here the white area is above this line the white area is above this line i know the two points uh, which are through which the line is passing one is 0 comma 0 the other one is 4 comma 1 and i can find out the line the coin of this line number 3 and the required area or the white area or the unshaded area is above this line so let me show you so the line number 3 i have taken two points and one point is uh, 0 comma 0 the region and 4 comma 1 to these two points that line is passing first of all i will find the gradient of this line the formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 equals to 1 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0 so you will have 1 by 4 so the gradient of this line is 1 by 4 now i will find the coin of this line and that will be y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1 so i will use this point this first point and the gradient so i will substitute the value of the x1 y1 and the m so x y minus 0 y minus 0 equals to 1 by 4 into x minus 0 i will bring this 4 to this side i will have 4y equals to x so because the required area is above this line so i will write here 4y is greater than or equals to x the mouth of the crocodile is towards the y the reason is that the white area the required area the unshaded area is above this line that's why the crocodile's mouth will be towards positive y so that was a line number 3 So now we have here this line number four. So you can see this line number four. The line number four. You can see. I hope you can see this line number four. So I will take two points on this line number four, and the area is below this line. You can see from here the, this this side is below this line. This side is above this line. So the white area is below this line. so i will take two points from this line one point is minus 1 comma 0 and the other point is 0 comma 4 so that is my line number 4 okay. so so i have taken two points uh, on that line and one point is minus 1 comma 0 the other point is 0 comma 4 and i will find the gradient of that line y minus so the gradient you know is the y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so it will be 4 minus 0 divided by 0 minus minus 1 so it will be 4 by 1 and it will be 4 so the gradient of this line a number 4 is positive 4 and you know the queen of that line we have the formula y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1 i will use this point and it will be y minus 0 the y1 is 0 the x1 is minus 1 and the m is 4 so y minus 0 equals to 4 bracket x minus minus 1 so it will become y 4x and it will become plus into 4 will be 4 so you have the coin y equals to 4x plus 4 because the area 
is below this line, the area is below this line. So the inequality, when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce inequality here. So the back of the crocodile will be towards the Y. The reason is because the white area is below this line number four. The white area, the, the unshaded area or the required area is below this line. So the crocodile's back will be towards the positive Y. Because it's a continuous line, that's why we have introduced equal sign also here. So Y is less than or equal to four X plus four. So my dear student, this is question number three and it's B part, we are done with it. And I hope that you understand it. It requires the knowledge of uh, coordinate geometry. So let's move to the next part. And the next part is question number three and FC part. So here we go. So uh, the question number three and it's C part is showing up on your screen. We are doing exercise 1A from the D4. Uh, new syllabus mathematics seventh edition. So uh, here you have this white area, this unshaded area, that is the required area. And it's being bounded by and around it, we have three lines. So this is your line number one. This is your line number two. And this is your line number three. So you see, uh, I'm just naming them to, to make the process easier and understandable to everybody. So I'm calling this line as line number one. So first of all, I need to find out the equation of this line, and then I will be able to tell the inequality for this line. Uh, I will take two points on this line. I will take this point, it is 0 comma 4. I, I'm noting down their coordinates. I will take this point, its coordinates are 0 comma 3. So by using these two points, I will find out the gradient and then I will find out the equation of this line number. Line number one, the area is below this line. You can see from here, the white area is below this line. So the crocodile back will be towards the positive Y. So let me show you. So, Okay, so um, question number three and it's C part here coming up on your screen. So the line number one, I've taken two points on the line number one, uh, zero comma four and three comma zero. First of all, I will find the gradient of this line. So M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So it will be zero minus four divided by three minus zero minus four divided by three. So the gradient of this line is minus four divided by three. Then I will find out the coin of this line. The coin of this line will be y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1. That is how I find the coin of the line. So here I will introduce the uh, x1 is zero, y1 is four. I'm taking the first point and the gradient, the gradient is minus four by three. So you can see I have substituted here the x1, y1, and the m values. So y minus four is equals to minus four by three bracket x minus three. The three will come to this side and multiply with both these terms. So you will have three y minus 12 is equals to this minus four will multiply in with this bracket. You will have minus four x. So bring this minus four x to this side, take this minus 12 to the other side. So you have three y plus four x is equals to 12. This is the equation of that line. And because the required area, because the required area is below this line. So uh, when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce here inequality. The crocodile of the, the, the back of the crocodile will be towards the positive Y. So here you can see I've written that the back of the crocodile is towards the positive Y. So you can say three Y plus four X is less than or equals to 12. So that's the line number one in the C part. Okay, so that was the line number one. So now this is the line number two. You can see this line number two, you can see the white area or the required area or the unshaded area is above this line. This is line number two. I'm just naming them line number one, line number two, line number three to make the process process easier. 
So you can see this line number two, the white area, required area is above this line. So I will take two points on this line. So let me take this point, it's zero comma minus one. And let me take this point that is two comma zero. So by using these two points, I will find the gradient of this line number two, then I will find the coin of this line number two, and then I will make the inequality. The most important thing is that the white area, the required area, the unshaded area is above this line. Okay, so let me show you my solution. So line number two, I've taken two points on that line number two. One is zero comma minus one, the other one is two comma uh, zero. So I will apply the formula of the gradient, m is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So it will be equal to zero minus minus one divided by two minus zero, it will be one by two. So the gradient of this line is one by two. So if you want to find out the quotient of this line, the process is very simple. You write this formula, y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1. So here x1, y1 is this first point and the m is this, this, this here, one by two. So I'll substitute these values of the x1, x1, y1 and the, and the gradient. So y minus minus one equals to one by two bracket x minus zero. So I've used this point as this is x1, y1 and the gradient is one by two. So this two will come to this side. It will multiply with both these terms. So you will have two y plus two is equals to this one. We'll multiply with this bracket. We will have x. So two y plus two is equals to x. That is the equation of the line number two. And you know, the required area, the white area is above the line number two. So when I will remove this equal sign, I will introduce the inequality. The crocodile mouth should be towards the positive y. The reason is that the area, white area, the required area is above this line. So you will have 2y plus 2 is greater than and equals to x. So you can see the crocodile's mouth is towards the positive y. And the reason is that the area is above this line. The area is above this line. That's why the crocodile's mouth is towards y. Okay, so let me show that that's the line number one, line number two. There is a third line also. Let me go back to that question and show you that line. Okay. So here you have that line and this is the line number three and you can see the required area is below this line. The white area is below this line. So the unshaded area is below this line. So I will take two points on this line and I can find out the inequality. First of all, I will find the equation of this line and then I will find the inequality. So you can see here, this point is uh, minus one comma zero and I will take this point that's zero comma three. By the help of these two points, I can very easily find the equation of this line. And then I will write down the inequality. The white area is below this line. So the crocodile's back will be towards the Y. So let's go back to our paperwork. Okay, so here we have, so line number one, line number two is done, line number three. So I have taken two points on the line number three and those two points are basically, uh, you know, uh, those two points are basically minus one comma zero and zero comma three. So I will apply the formula of the gradient M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So that will be equals to three minus zero divided by zero minus minus one. So it will be three divided by one and that will be three. So that is the gradient of this line. Now I will find the equation of this line. The formula is very simple. I use this formula. Uh, I use this formula and many people use the other formula y is equal to mx plus c. You can use that one. There will be no issue. Y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1. So I will use this first point. This is X1, this is Y1, and this is the M. I will substitute these values here. So Y minus zero equals to three bracket X minus minus one. So you will have Y equals to, this will multiply both these terms. So you will have Y equals to three X plus three. Because the required area is below this line, the required area is below this line number three, the crocodile's back will be towards the positive Y. 
So that's why when I remove this equal sign, I introduce this inequality sign in such a way that the back of the crocodile is towards the Y. The reason is the white area, the required area is below this line. So y is less than and equals to 3x plus 3. Now, on your screen, the question number three, and this D part is showing. So here we have that white area, the unshaded area, the required area, and it's being bonded by three lines. This is the line number one. This is the line number two. This is the line number three. In the line number one, you can see that the white area is below this line. In the line number two, you can see that the white area is above this line. In the line number three, you can see the white area, the required area is below this line. So the, I, will, I will start from the line number one. I just named them. It's up to you, you name them, whatever. Uh, I name it line number one. So this is my line number one. Basically there are three lines. So this is my line number one, the area, white area, the required area is below this line. I will take two points on this line. So suppose I take this point that is 0 comma 2 and I take uh, this point that is 3 comma 0. And I will find the equation of this line and then I will write the inequality uh, for this line uh, because the required area is below this line. So it's very simple, 0 comma 2 and 3 comma 0. Okay, so question number 3 and D part and you can see here, the line number one, I have taken two points, zero comma two and three comma zero. And I will find the gradient. The formula for the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So it will be zero minus two divided by three minus zero. It will be minus two divided by three. So that's the gradient minus two divided by three. So I will apply the formula for the equation. That will be y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1. So why I will use this first point and that is zero comma two and the gradient is minus two by three. This is X one, this is Y one. So Y minus two equals to minus two by three bracket X minus zero. So this three will come to this side, multiply with both these terms and this minus two will multiply with this bracket. So you will have three Y minus six is equals to minus two X and 3y plus 2x is equal to 6. That is the equation of this line because the required area is below the line number 1. So when I will remove this equal sign and I will introduce the inequality, I will put the crocodile, I will put the inequality in such a way that the back of the crocodile will be towards the y. And the reason is because the area, the white area, the required area, the unshaded area, is below this line. That's why the back of the crocodile will be towards the positive y. So this is the line number one. Hopefully you understand. Okay, so the line number two is this one. The line number two is this one and you can see the white area, the required area, the unshared area is above this line. So I will find, I will take two points on this line. Uh, you can take, uh, I can take minus one. It's zero comma minus one and I can take two comma zero minus one comma, sorry, zero comma minus one and two comma zero. So I can take these two points. I can also take this point, minus two comma minus two. And by taking two points on this line number two, I can find the gradient, I can find the quotient, and then I will write the inequality for this line the required area is above this line. This is line number, line number two. So here, here on your screen, the, my work is being shown. And uh, I've taken two points from that line number two, uh, zero comma minus one and two comma zero. So I will find the gradient of this line. The formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And uh, Okay, so zero minus minus one divided by two minus zero, it will be one by two. The gradient of that line is one by two. Then I will find the quotient of that line. The formula is y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1 bracket close. 
Uh, I will take this first point here. The X one is zero, Y one is minus one. The M value is one by two. I will substitute the value of the X one, Y one, and the gradient in this equation. So you can see here Y minus minus one equals to one by two bracket X minus zero bracket close. Bring this two to this side to multiply with both these terms. So you will have two Y plus two is equals to X. So two Y, uh, this is the equation of that line. And you know, the area was above this line number two, the white area, the required area, the wanted area was above this line. So I, when I would write the inequality, when I will remove the equal sign and I introduce here inequality, the crocodile's mouth will be towards positive Y. The reason is that the area is above this line. The white area, the required area is above this line. So you can see here, we have written here two Y plus two is greater than or equals to X. The reason is why the crocodile's mouth is towards the Y because the area is above this line. The required area is above this line. Okay, then we have this third line and this is that third line. This is that third line and you can see the required area, the white area, the unshaded area is below this line. Okay. So I will take two points on this line. I can take minus two comma minus two and I can take this point, which is uh, zero comma two. I can also take this point, which is minus one comma zero. So you, any two points on this line and I will find the gradient of this line. I will find the queen of this line. Then I will write the inequality. Uh, because the white area, the required area, the unshared area is below this line. So the crocodile's back should be towards the Y. Okay, so let's go to check the solution. Okay, so here we go. So uh, this is the line number three. Uh, I have taken two points on this line, minus two comma minus two, and I have taken the point minus one comma zero. So these are the two points which I have taken on that line number three. Then I first I will find the gradient of this line. You know the formula for the gradient is if the two points are given, uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we will have zero minus minus two minus, divided by minus one minus minus two. So you will have two divided by one plus minus one plus two, and that will be plus one. So two divided by one, that will be two. Then I will find the queen of the line. I will use this formula, which is y minus y one equals to m bracket x minus x one. I will use this first point. This will be my x one. This will be my y one and the gradient is two and i will substitute these values of the x1 y1 and the m in this formula so you will have y minus minus two equals to two bracket x minus minus two bracket close so you will have y plus two equals to two x plus four so you will have y is equal to two x and when this two will go on the other side it will subtract so you will have two x plus four minus two and that will be two x plus two so y equals to two x plus two because the required area is below this line. This is the line number three, the required area, the white area, the uh, unshaded area uh, is below this line. So when I will remove this equal sign, when I remove this equal sign and I will introduce the inequality, I will put the inequality in such a way that the crocodile's back will be towards the y, the positive y. And the crocodile's back is towards the positive y. The reason is because the required area, the unshaded area, the white area is below this line. So the crocodile's back will be towards the y. So uh, we are done with the question number three and it's D part. And my dear students, by doing this question, we have reached the end of today's target. Today we have done exercise 1A from the D4. And in this session, in this video, we have worked on the question number two and the question number three, the graphs were already there. And we have to write down the inequalities of those lines which were bounding that unshaded area. I tried to explain it to you. Um, I hope that I will be successful. And 
um, you will be able to now, uh, if the graph is given to you, you will be able to write down the inequalities. If you find this video helpful to you, and if this video help you to understand the graphs of inequality, and you are now able to write down the inequality, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like my video. If you think that this video is helpful to you and it can be helpful to your friends, your class fellows, your seniors, your juniors in all levels, um, um, share the link of this video into your Facebook account, into your Instagram account, because that will be a great appreciation for me. And that's like a fuel to me. And I continue this work. So uh, thank you very much, everybody. It was a great pleasure teaching you this concept. And uh, uh, I hope that it is to some help to you. So thank you very much once again. Great pleasure to do this work. And thank you very much. Have a good day. God bless you all.